color. You can rely on the basic kit and you can complain for weeks. Right now I would like to show you some complex cases before I finally hand the podium over to Daniel. And those cases, they were made exactly in the same way you have seen it in the video. They were all made manually. This is the lady after treatment. And have a look how it was before, a real nightmare. And you have seen today so many emotional cases and the way how to get to a perfect result. This is exactly what I would like to continue with. That's a catastrophe, but as you can see, if you got the right team approach, even the bridge can look perfectly. If the pontic is being situated at the right position, the gum pretreatment pre -treatment was done properly, and I made my job properly as well by matching the surrounding color. And as you can see, all the little details, everything which I explained before is being shown from nature here with the lower incisors, and we simply analyzed it put the ingredients together and finally came up with a final result. Surface texture is something I believe this is the really one of the most important things because the surface texture has a strong influence to the color reflection or the light reflection and in return as a matter of fact the light reflection causes sometimes the color change. If you got a rough surface you got a high reflection so you got some highlights on the surface so the value gets up if the surface is just smooth and dense, the light penetrates much more. This is so important to do. And once again, tell me, do you really think just by doing this with a machine, you can reach the same result? Not yet. I promise you, not yet. It still requires the fingers and the talent and, of course, the skill of a, te of a technician and the team approach. Because I am, as a technician, for me, it's hopeless just doing my game or just playing my game but as long as it comes together with my dentist partners and we are creating a team then we can create such results on an everyday platform or basis. The black and white picture shows you nicely the morphology. You see the embrasures are closed. We got the nice response of the soft tissue. So everything was done by the book but once again it's no rocket science. It is simply doing the right things at the right time with the right partners. I like this picture very much because this is made with this cross-polarizing filter which allows you to look inside and you see even the inside follows exactly the natural role model. So that's a perfect control about your work and it's a perfect control and a perfect way to understand what is going on inside. And the inside is so important. And then finally when everything comes together we can call it a success we are able to satisfy patients and it becomes a little bit emotional. Emotional for everybody because it is life quality. The next case was a little bit more complex. You see the gentleman after treatment, really not special so far, but if you wait a second, you understand what I meant with the word it was a little bit difficult. Because this patient walked in and said, listen, I want to have beautiful teeth. Yes, of course, I mean, I want so many things in life, but they don't turn out to be true. But we said, you know what, before we go any further, let's do a planning, just a pretreatment. And it really doesn't matter if you call it smile design or if you give it another name. What we mainly do is we try to figure out if it is possible or not. Then we talk to the dentist. Is it possible that you give me enough room, that you give me a platform for that? Then we do a wax up. We do a mock-up and then the story rolls on. Really not complicated as long as you really do it. And the next picture, Roland, mission control. Aha, okay, one back. Oh, there is no, okay, good. Then we take this one. Here you can see with the black and white picture, we were able to close all the embrasures we were able to manage the soft tissue and please remember how massively the teeth were separated and how big the gap was in between. Now with this view, you wouldn't even assume 
there was a catastrophe before. And that's what I really like because that requires the whole team. It requires the porcelain, it requires the understanding of color, it requires the color concept, how to use Emacs Serum. It requires the right material underneath. And here it doesn't matter if it is done CAD CAM or manually by using the pressing technology. But in total, when everything comes together, you see it's like a chain with no end and no beginning. And that's what I like every day. I don't want to simplify my work too much, you know. Sometimes in dentistry you hear simplicity is the most important thing. But the question is how much do you want to simplify it? There is still a need for some special effects and those effects are visible here and they are visible in the mouth. The patient now became a complete different approach. He was happy. He started to be talkative. He never thought before about dentistry, now he does. He is probably the best advertisement for our profession when he walks around and he's spreading the news to his colleagues, friends or family members. See, everything is exactly as accurate as it can be because we spent time before with a sound treatment planning, team approach and the right utilization of the material. And that was another case, very nice, because this lady, she was on that time at the age of 17 and she was looking desperately for a nice smile. I mean, it's easy to understand that that's not really helpful for a young lady when she walks around with those big open areas. And this is the result after three years of orthodontic treatment. What the orthodontist did was he was moving the teeth from right to left and back. And so finally after three years we were still having this kind of scenario and then we decided to go for a minimal, almost prepless treatment with veneers. First of all, once again, the most important thing before you make any promise is that you say, okay, if it is doable or not. We analyze everything, we take pictures, we do everything which is being required to get an idea, then we do our digital wax up, then we do our manual or real wax up, then it's been transferred into the mouth with a mock-up, and now you see realistically if it is a good idea or not, in this case, I asked the dentist to do some microsurgery just to make the gum level completely even. He did so with a laser. And then finally, we made the restoration. This picture was taken just four weeks after placement. And the response of the gum is just perfect. That's what I really like. Just with a few pieces of porcelain called veneers, we were able to give a smile back to this, yeah, quite desperate, lady, or oh, she wasn't a lady, she, wasn't, she was still a, a teenager, but then when the entire treatment was done, now have a look, now it creates a picture, now it's been integrated into the face, not just into the mouth, not just into the, or onto the model, it's been integrated into a human being. And see how she looks right now. And Marie, she said, when we took the picture, she said, you know what? Now she looks like a lady. Before she was a teenager, now she looks like a young lady. And I can tell you that's really emotional. I really like that. That's in our hand. It's really just in our hand what we do.